Hi, this is Sarah at Repeat Crafter Me, and I'm going to show you how to make these adorable smiling snowman heads. I'm excited to show you this project, and you can really use these for many different uh, kinds of decor or like a little plushie. You could add a body. I have a project in mind, and I will show you the finished piece on the blog, but let's just go ahead and make this cute little snowman head first. So I'm gonna make one more. I'm gonna make a little purple hat this time. I'm using Bernat Super Value yarn. And you're gonna need white, of course. And then I'm also gonna use this purple. This is Light Damson. Okay. And then you're gonna need a bit of orange yarn as well. And we'll get to that in a minute. And I have some other supplies and I'll just go through that as we get to that part of the pattern. So first we are going to take our white yarn, if I can find the end. I've been making lots of snowman. And there we go. Um, so I've been using a lot of that yarn. Okay, so first let's make our magic ring. Chain one, 10 single crochets in the ring, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pull tight. Join to that first single crochet. Now we're gonna make two single crochets in each stitch around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 1920. Join. Chain one. Just gonna pull my middle a little tighter. Now we are going to make one single crochet in each stitch around, and you will have 20 stitches, just as I counted out before. Join, chain one. Now I'm gonna make two single crochets in the first stitch and one single crochet in the next and repeat around. So two single crochets and then one, two and then one. All right, all the way around. Okay, join, chain one. Now we're gonna do two single crochets in the first stitch, one single crochet in the next two stitches. So two single crochets in one stitch, and then one single crochet in the next two. And repeat around. Join, 
chain one. Now all we do is make one single crochet all the way around. You should have 40 stitches. And we are going to do this for the next, well, you should have a total of 13 rows when you're finished. So we have one, two, three, four, five rows so far. And you're going to continue to single crochet around until we have a total of 13 rows, or rounds I should say, of all white. There's one row round. Just keep going around. Okay, see how it starts to curve now? All right, meet me back when you have 13 rounds. Okay, so now I have finished round 13 of our snowman head. And at this point, we're going to add in the purple yarn for the hat. Of course, you can use any color you want for the hat portion. So right before I joined on my 13th uh, round, I am going to uh, go ahead and pull the purple yarn through to complete that slip stitch and then I'm going to chain one and I'm going to go ahead and single crochet in each stitch around just as we, as we had been doing but this time in your hat color. Okay, we are finished with that round. I'm gonna go ahead and slip stitch to join, chain one. And now we're gonna add our face. This is a good time because you have room to uh, stitch on a little mouth and add your safety eyes. So let's just, we're not gonna uh, clip off the, the hat color, but what we can do is we can now clip our white yarn because we're not gonna need that. And I'm going to, I'm going to put my seam in the back uh, and make sure I put my face on the opposite side of where my seam is. And I'm going to go ahead and use nine millimeter safety eyes. You can get these at Joanne Fabric and Crafts um, as well as online. And I will put a link uh, to that in the blog post. So you're only going to need two. And here's... These are the backs and these are the eye part portion. And what I like to do, I like to make them um, a little offset, just kind of, this is a fun little snowman face. Really put them anywhere you want, but I put one there and then I'm just gonna go down one row and put another one. Just so they look like that. 
and then I take the backs and I press them on till you hear a click. Yay. Okay. Now let's make a little nose. I'm going to take my orange yarn. I'm going to make a slip knot. I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to single crochet in the second chain from hook. I'm going to half double crochet in the next two. And then I'm going to make a double crochet in the last chain. And there you have it. There's your little nose. Fasten that off. take my tapestry needle I'm gonna weave in one of the loose ends just right about there in the back and clip that off okay here's our cute little nose all right, I'm gonna take my tapestry needle, the other loose end, ah. Here's my little snowman head. Basically, I kinda want it to sit right in between the eyes, facing up a little bit. It's cute about right there. Once you have it set, just start stitching it on. You're just going to want to go in and out around the edges of your nose, through the back side, through the front. Here we go. Now, here's the great, look how cute that is. Like, here's the great thing about this little head. I'm not really going to bother weaving in my ends too well. And I'm not even going to, I mean, I'm going to weave in a little bit just so that doesn't come undone. And then I'm just going to leave this in here. I'm not going to clip it off. Sometimes if you clip it too short, it starts to unravel. But this guy's going to be stuffed with polyfill. So... It won't matter. You can just leave all of your loose ends right there in the middle. That saves you a little work. Okay, we're done with that. Look at our cute little nose and the eyes. And now we got to do a mouth. So I have a strand of black yarn. Let's stitch on a little smile. Got my tapestry needle. And I'm going to start right about down here, right under the nose. Leave a little bit of a loose end there. Let's see, let's go down. Oop. Just going down there. And then I'm gonna go, let's see if I can hold this and do it at the same time. Go over here, okay? And then I'm gonna go back this way. Then I'm going to go up here and back down. Yay! And now I'm going to make that little crease at the end of the smile. I can't get my hook in there. I wanted to go in between right there. Yay, what a cute little smile. Okay, so here's what else I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my two little black ends. I'm gonna knot them together, not too tight. 
but I'm gonna just knot them so hopefully they don't come unraveled if you're making this as a little plushy giving it to a child I would probably weave in the ends really well but that's not what I'm making this for so I'm not too worried I just don't want them to come undone all right stick them down there yay okay let's get back to the little head okay where's there we go let's put this in there okay get your hook back okay so for this next one this next round we're kind of gonna make the ridge of our hat so I'm gonna make a front post single crochet and then I'm gonna make a back post single crochet I'm just gonna alternate that for the next two rounds so front post and then a back post I go around the back And just continue honestly this part could be optional you don't have to make a little ridge in your hat but if you want to you can just do it how I'm doing and if you don't want to you could just single crochet in each stitch normally that's fine too Okay, so I am just going to continue around with my front posts and my back posts for the next two rounds, this one and one more, and I will continue on after that. Okay, so here we are. I have finished my two front post and back post single crochet rounds. These give me kind of a ridge which creates a brim look uh, to the hat of my little smiling snowman. And I'm gonna go ahead, I believe this is round 17, and we are going to start out with a single crochet decrease, and then single crochet in the next two stitches. So single crochet decrease, single crochet in the next two. Single crochet decrease, single crochet in the next two single crochet decrease single crochet in the next two just gonna repeat this all the way around single crochets join now we're just gonna single crochet around single crochet in each stitch around to the end here all right we're gonna join chain one now we're going to single crochet decrease single crochet in the next single crochet decrease single crochet in the next all the way around
was my last one. Join, chain one. Now I'm just gonna single crochet all the way around in each stitch. And we're actually eek, gonna do this for the next three rounds. We're just going to single crochet around. was one round. Let's do another one. One more. Oops. Okay. Now is a good time to stuff our head because you don't want your opening to get any smaller than this because you won't be able to get your polyfill fiber stuffing in it. So I actually have a really big bag of polyfill fiber fill. Uh, got this, uh, you can get this at Michael's or Joanne Crafts, either one. I'm gonna take out all this fluffy stuff. Let me take out my hook for a sec. And you're going to start stuffing it all the way down. Cover up all those loose ends you had down there. Okay. Stuff it until it takes shape. You don't want it too firm where you're starting to see spaces uh, in between your stitches, but you don't want it too floppy either. I think that's about good. Maybe a teeny bit more. Stuff it down. That's pretty cute. All right, let's get back to crocheting. All right, for the next round, we're gonna do a single crochet decrease, single crochet in the next two, single crochet decrease, single crochet in the next two, all the way around. Crochet decrease, single crochet in the last two. Now we're going to single crochet all the way around. Here we go, all the way around, just single crochets. You're actually gonna do this for three rows. So this was one, or sorry, rounds. <laughs> three rounds, so that was one round. And now let's do another round. And then one more last round after this. My son's calling me. Hold on one sec. 
Okay, I'm back. We have one more round of just single crochets and we're almost done with this hat. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to join. And for this next round, this is our last decrease round. We're going to make a single crochet decrease, single crochet in the next. Single crochet decrease, single crochet in the next, all the way around. That's my last stitch. Okay, join. Now I'm gonna make six rounds of just single crochets. And this should go pretty quick, because there's only, I think, 10 stitches to do in each round. So here is one. Now let's do another one. This is gonna be two and then three Last round, here we go. Okay, so let's join. I'm gonna take my scissors, clip this off, leaving little bit of a tail because we're gonna need it okay I'm just gonna here's our guy I'm just gonna sew this closed with my tapestry needle okay all I do is I work my tapestry needle here under these stitches. You can also uh, single crochet decrease to close, but this is sometimes just easier than trying to get your fingers and your hook into the last couple stitches. And I just pull tight. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flop the hat over and I am going to weave my needle under a stitch where I want the bottom of the hat to go. Pull tight. Back up through here. Okay, so now it's secure. And I kind of go down, back down, and I'm just going to weave this end in pretty well over here, kind of towards the back of the hat. 
So it's secure. That looks about good. Clip it off. So cute. One more thing we have to do. I made these cute little pom-poms for the end of our hats. I used my, I think this is an extra small, smaller extra, probably extra small, um, clover pom-pom maker. Uh, so I made this little pom-pom and I'm gonna take my end of the pom-pom. I'm gonna find just the little end here, tip of my hat. Pull that through. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knot this a few times so it stays there. Again, if you are possibly giving this to a child, I might be a little more diligent in weaving in your ends, but this should work for what I am making. Okay, sorry, hard to do that and hold it. And then I'm just gonna trim them just kind of to the, to the length my pom-pom is. Trim it. And there we go. Here is our adorable little snowman head.